guys welcome back to my channel you guys are good i hope that you guys are doing amazing and healthy and people have been coming for me for not vlogging and stuff like that and it's like i really would love to i really would but i'm genuinely not up to anything <laughs> like yo not up to anything my routine is basically the same as it was months ago i'm home I'm not doing and I'm not getting in, into any I'm not up to any fun my life is just like stable and steady you know? but yeah we're doing good I'm good I'm I'm feeling good about myself I started working out again oh guys this journey of working out with like at home is not working for me you understand my this thing of like going starting and then like getting lazy down the way because I'm home it's not helping it's not so today's another segment um dear diary segment um as you can see we're going to be talking about expectations um and mainly expectations derived from like personal expectations um expectations on life in general social expectations in relationships and friendships and stuff like that so i'm just gonna be sharing um so if I keep looking there, that's where my notes are. I need to get a camera. I'm talking about like the role expectations have had on me and my past learning experiences. Um, why I do think that expectations are both a good and bad thing for me. How they have helped me. How they have been my downfall in the past as well. If you want to listen to that and just me chit-chatting, do continue watching the video. And while you're at it, please subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Share it to your friends. And yeah. So for me, expectations are, like I said before, expectations are kind of like a guide for me um in like setting goals where i would like to be like how i would like things to be you know and there's so much comfort that comes in knowing that like i i'm kind of in control of what happens in the future i know that sometimes it's a bad thing because it can be a bad thing if you over fixate over that because like when things don't go your way you like completely lose your mind <laughs> so th there's a certain degree that you have to have that mentality like sometimes you have to accept that okay even if i do have these goals and like this is how i plan things to go like um most of the time it's even just a measure of time you know and if you're a, a person who's like who a believer or you have faith or you're faith driven and stuff you know we don't we don't live by time you know we don't measure anything by time the the hope and just knowing that eventually it will happen is just not now but it doesn't mean that like the plans that i have and the plans that i have prayed for and like waited for aren't going to come okay oh, but i'm saying like there's a certain degree um but for me personal personal expectations that i have for myself are like a guide you know um because I know my personal capabilities. I know how I perform when I'm at my best. I know what makes me happy. Like what, if I achieve this certain thing, what will make me happy? You know, I know what I want to be known for. You know what I mean? Um, I can't fully say I know my purpose here. <laughs> I'm really just like one of those people like winging it, you know, and like just being kind to people and like, doing what i can like be in that moment i'm just like in each and every moment trying to be a good like a good person you know of course like sometimes these type of expectations that i have myself are not are not always like internally it's what i see i, I did speak about this on my previous video like you do see like people your age um achieving certain things and then you know people are always so quick to be like no don't compare yourself and stuff like that but sometimes comparison can help you you know i mean if you're not beating yourself down about it but if you see someone your age um having bought a mercedes benz and that time that person is in the same line of education that you're doing it's like bro you know what bet let me try that you know what i mean like it's normal you see people my i see people my age like getting married i see people getting houses i see people people my age traveling people youtubers traveling and making content and just living off of that and it's like always like 
like no like don't compare yourself that's just human nature <laughs> you know what i mean like i think the worst thing to do to a person is like downplay their human experience like downplay their humanly feelings and like make it seem you know and especially this is like a battle that i have within my religion itself is that like every single negative feeling is like automatically yeah the devil you know what i mean i don't i don't know if it works for, for people but i like to remember that at the end of the day i'm a human being and you know i'd like to hear like you know people speak about like ways to you know what i mean like instead of just like dismissing it and just saying like the devil and like you know you know i don't know certain factors that have driven the type of expectations that i have on myself right now both personal and, and social what i see like ex okay i'll say externally just the and just and then there's those like inherent like life expectations that people have that like okay you're born you <laughs> you you graduate you it's ah and then it's death <laughs> like that but you get what i mean like i've seen so many i want I, I read too many memes <laughs> it's but <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> i'm laughing like i'm in a crisis but i'm really not <laughs> if i could define personal expectations i would say that's that's what i think personal expectations are for me um not to overshare because those are certain things that are like very personal you know and like give a few examples i did mention that like by now i would have preferred to be at a certain point in my life in my education um because it's been a whole year and there's so much that can happen in a year no it's been three years since i graduated three years since i graduated um and i'm only enrolling in, into i just now enrolled into the school I said earlier on it's just a matter of time um eventually things do fall into place uh so i'm not too much onto that and then how what would i say like right now i'm busy talking about the gym like i have certain expectations about how i want to look you know what i mean um sometimes personal experiences personal expectations are influenced from external factors it's not even just from what people see you place an expectation onto yourself because you grew up a certain way you want to you know one thing about my generation there's so many um curse <laughs> not like curses but yeah what do they call them generational curses that we're all trying to you know reverse and it's generational curses that go like back 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 like you hear that like your great 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 grandmother was like had the same thing you know i was watching someone on tiktok and she was just talking about how important it is to have a conversation with like your adults about like how you grew up especially like in your line like i'm talking about your parents and their mother or their dad and then their grandparents if they're still alive you know have a conversation with them ask them like hey did you ever experience a time when this happened um what did you do um like what happened what ended up happening based on like the decisions that you made you know because you there's so many i know and i, I related it to it i related it to that so much because from i won't say exactly but like from i've seen so many patterns that um i've you know i've heard like the adults my the adults <laughs> like saying like yeah this this hap this has happened but like you know this is just what you do and stuff like that and it's like bro i want to change that like i don't want my outcome to be the same you know my cousin and i always talk about how like to us i'm i'm, I'm bringing it back to the topic of like generational curses and just trying to do things different how will you know that you're doing things different if you're not aware of like the mistakes that they've made in the past we talked about just saying hey in as much as we want to have kids and babies if i'm not married i'm not having a child you understand what i mean and in as much as that's such a scary and risky thing to say because of course you don't know you don't know what's gonna happen but it's just nice to know that like at least i do i'm aware of like 
what how i want my outcome to be you know and it's like i'm going in the in the right direction <laughs> just being aware of like um how you grew up there's so many people who grew up in like unfortunate circumstances and obviously they're just like i don't want to be broke ever again in my life yeah. and then there's also like expectations that derive from expectations that come from your own personal experiences as well like um you knowing that okay last year there was a situation that i'm that I, there's this decision i made and i messed up <laughs> damn you but yeah um last year or four years ago there's this i did I, I made this decision and this is what happened you know and i'll place this a, an expectation on myself like saying i'm never gonna do that again you know what i mean you know so it also comes back to the fact that like this just helps like your overall goal setting and to helping you become who you want to be to add on the the part where i spoke about how like you not a being able to meet these expectations and how seriously they can affect your mental well-being in general like you see so many people um thinking like bro kind of you can see you know you can see that this person is unhappy you know i've seen it in ibile in relationships like mostly for guys you know um it's so easy for us to always be like a change in someone's behavior is how is a reflection of how they feel about us you know but that person like most of the time like i saw a conversation about a bunch of guys on twitter talking about like most of the time they're just not where they want to be you know um and we joke a lot about it like get your money up <laughs> but i don't even mean it like that but i mean like this is actually something you know you can you can genuinely see when how someone's whole entire mood changes when they're just not where they want to be and it's not something that you can um pray away you know it can help you you know it can help you keep that faith like keep on fueling that faith back into your life but you know it's unfair to like expect that person to be happy you know and like be upset at someone for not feeling okay because they're not where they want to be for you for us to eliminate problems we have to take it to extremes you know we have to make it sound as dramatic as it is we can't be like downplaying situations and just saying you know like I've, and this is a this is a uh uh i don't a way of dealing things that like i know that like people in the past adults would do like if something's very makes you very emotional you're supposed to act like it's strong like it's not that deep you know and then it only affects you afterwards and stuff like that or you impose that that um that character onto other people like you they'll see someone crying about something and be like no man up like you know what i mean and it's like bro just because you decided to deal with things like that does not mean everybody has to inherently like because you are the one that decided that it's a bad thing you know expectation from others <laughs> now this one i swear to god is an area where i struggle the most so i'm probably gonna speak about it speak about it like more i don't know you no know, i've been in personally i've been in situations where i've put unrealistic expectations on others most mostly my the people that i'm dating in that time you know because it's so easy to like envision you know i have this thing like when i meet someone new and like i'm in i'm interested in them when i start being interested in them i do have like a a way in which things i want to go you know um <laughs> and sometimes i tend to forget that you know what at the end of the day this person is their own person they have their own way of doing things um you know and for me it's like i always saw i would see that in that moment I, I would see it as like uh like i said like a reflection of like how they're feeling you know and sometimes not taking time to understand like okay how is this person communicating with me how do they know how to communicate how do they know how to show that you know what i love you oh okay that i mean like i i want to be with you or whatever that's the situation is you know so easy to i always like tend to like okay yeah um this person i like this person and they like me so this is what this is what's gonna happen 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 you know without putting into place um 
what they are capable of doing <laughs> you know um are they mentally capable of like you know this situation that i'm trying to present to them you know i always say to people like in as much as like we love to be courted we love to be chased and stuff like that like at the end of the day a relationship for me in my words is like the both of us pitching to each other like okay i'm like this you're like this let's see how it will work out you know i also have to present myself in a way that like to them it's like bro i'm gonna be a blessing in your life you know i can't just be you and this is for me like i'm not like i don't want advice i don't want <laughs> i'm saying this is for me um you know i also have that responsibility to be like okay this is how i can be um of like adding value to your life and then like they also must do the same and it must make sense you know whole process you know it's a whole process there's so much clear communication that has to take place especially in that period like about what the person can do what can't they do in that moment are they willing to do it for you are they willing to like um go through that whole thing with you you know what i mean um it's conversations that can't not be can that can't be ignored you know because it's one thing for two people to meet and just be like yeah like you're hot i'm hot you know what i mean and then afterwards it's like you know and it's it's kind of a concerning situation when you always find yourself in situations where they end the same you know it's always the same conclusion and it's so easy to also derive from the actual problem and just blame it on other people you know you do have to sit down and like think bro what am i doing you know what are the patterns that i've had and like you know because basically that's my point it's unfair to place certain expectations on people however i'm not saying that can't you can't completely like have expectations you know for me if you and i are together i do expect that at all times we're being fully honest with each other about how we're feeling no one's like having second thoughts about something and not telling me you know or just not saying anything like there's nothing that makes me so upset than like people not saying anything also another thing bro like just not saying anything like you know <laughs> you know like it's it's a very frustrating position to be in um so those are the certain type of thing like one of the things that i i feel like i have i i expect that certain behavior from you i expect like respect as well honestly as sometimes sometimes we have to be selfish about these things you know we at the end of the day we are using these things to protect our own feelings i'm protecting my heart so if i tell a nigga a boy <laughs> if i tell a man that bro i don't want if you and i are talking and stuff like that and i honestly don't want to be seeing you like flirting with another woman it's because i don't i know myself you know what i mean like and i'll make it clear to you like bro i don't want to see i don't want to see that i'm not saying don't do it but like at least i'm asking just for the, a little favor like don't do it when i'm around you know like try not to like throw it in my face and i'll do the same like i'll do it effortlessly i'm not gonna i'm not gonna you know what i mean and if like someone comes to me and communicates something about me like what they want for me to change i'll try my best to do so you know i won't i'm, not, I'm very good at like not dismissing people i'm a very good listener i'm a very i'm always like willing to learn also from my mistakes you know so certain expectations that i have on people that are a bit unfair but it's like bro everybody everybody is doing what they have to do right now i feel like this is something i say to my people every single time like i feel like in this moment everybody is doing what they feel like they need to do in this moment they are doing what they know like you know what i mean and that's why i try my best also not to have a judgmental mind like why the hell did you make that decision like why did you do that why did you do that you know that like the best thing to do because this also applies in friendships but for me luckily i've never <laughs> I, I thrive in friendships i don't know <laughs> i don't have a lot of like toxic friendship stories which is why i don't speak about 
like anything bad about my like about like my past friendships and stuff like i've always been blessed with like good friendships yes we can't have everything <laughs> we can't have everything so i'll say like the best thing to do is always um set boundaries between you and your person set boundaries and speak to each other about like you know be clear like don't be scared don't be scared to don't be scared to be hurting someone's feelings or don't be scared that like um if i tell this person this and this is what i struggle with like i struggle with the fact that like okay if i if i'm if i come on too strong like is this person gonna move away you know and balipi had to drill it in my head that tabile don't worry about it to me the right person will stick you know you putting all these like your frustrations like at the back of your head and like just dismissing yourself all the time me doing that to myself is only gonna make me unhappy you know the thing is that person can turn around and say bro i didn't even know that you wanted these things from me you know so the right person is gonna stick set healthy boundaries healthy boundaries like not crazy um <laughs> boundaries in how to navigate disappointment that you get from um when people don't fulfill what you expected um <laughs> avoid disappointment which is not healthy at all it's not healthy at all like i always find myself like self sabotaging or sabotaging the actual situation um to avoid disappointment you know because there's nothing as painful as like someone's as someone presenting something to you and saying that it's promising and then like them doing like the complete opposite of what like you know so and i know how i get when i'm like fully into someone <laughs> like i really know how i get you know i'm not grand so like I, I usually find myself like sabotaging the situation like or sabot self sabotaging myself like i'll just try and convince myself like okay you know what i need to end this thing now because i can sense let's say what has helped me to um what has helped me is like just understanding that bro people are people and <laughs> you know that person is their own person i've repeated this so many times in this video that person is their own person not everything that they do or not do is a reflection of who you are or a reflection of how they feel or like earth or that person it does didn't have a personal vendetta like they they, they, they didn't deliberately try to um, make the situation negative you know what i mean so just like telling yourself these things and understanding going out of your way to understand this person you know going out of your way to understand interpersonal relationships as well in general you know um and not like and just try and be positive <laughs> like just try try do something you know try try other things this guy on tiktok was like we 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 often talk about like manifesting or like being the lulu because <laughs> there's this new thing of like being the lulu and i fully get that i fully am with that motive but we set like these manifestations or like we pray about things and like pray for change and stuff like that and then when it doesn't happen we're like disappointed and then we like question the actual like manifestation and stuff like that but it's like what are you doing to change like what are you doing on a daily basis to change your like change your routines like he was even talking about because i've been trying to open this vaseline he was talking about um how he was saying he's bored of life or something like that he's bored of life um he wants to meet new people but for the past five years he was taking the same route from home to work work to his favorite his favorite food store from there back home and it was that for the past five years and it's like bro how are you saying you want to meet people you want to make your life interesting you want to have this you want to have this you want to have this but you're doing the same things every single day you know so this um 
it was linear but just to finish off the topic like and just to conclude um just embrace uncertainty you know learn to live in the moment you know imagine if life was like we were given a manual sometimes i feel like i do need that though but it just takes away the you know the excitement and the whole learning thing about life you know live in the moment um embrace the fact that like you're going to make mistakes you're going to fail people are gonna disappoint you life is gonna disappoint you <laughs> you know but always always have a learning mind you know always have a learning mind don't ignore your feelings don't ignore negative feelings don't don't avoid negative gonna try not to be too much don't try not to fixate too much on like controlling how situ how you want things to be you know have these expectations but like also be like just live and like relax relax and relax knowing that 90 percent of the time even if you tried that outcome had nothing to do with like what you could have done or what you shouldn't have done you know things always happen the way that they're supposed to and just just accept it just like appreciate it and like move on <laughs> just try it if you can try it as much as possible just to stay grateful embrace embrace it just be grateful express gratitude in life's life's trials and tribulations just embrace it like try to find the light somewhere you know somewhere <laughs> you know and just know that like you're not alone like there's so 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 many people that are sharing the same sentiment as you um i would encourage you guys to also have the same like certain awareness like it's it's a, it's a starting point like you have your own time try to identify your own expectations that you've placed on yourself are they healthy are they realistic are they practical is it something within your reach or is it you just is it all coming from people or what you see on social media or is it actually something that you want another reason why we're never just satisfied by what we have is because like we are so good at everything that we feel like external things that like we you know what i mean that's a hundred percent external you're seeing it from people you're seeing it from people but you don't even know who to wear now what do you want you know so i would recommend if you want <laughs> to also go through the same thing say take some time away and think about like the expectations that you have are they realistic do they make me happy do the expectations you have on other people are they fair you know have they worked for you should i keep them in place should i add on some and yeah guys we've come to the end of the video i hope that you guys enjoyed it I actually talked so much so much i hope that you guys enjoyed the video um i love you guys so much and i will see you next